continue again with our Caden Live series here. And this uh, this is a uh, question that came from a viewer. They were saying that they wish that Caden Live had this feature that some other video editing software, I don't remember which one he said has. And, and the thing is, uh, it does, if I was understanding him correctly. And that is the multi-track view. So here I have four different clips of my daughter. Um, but theoretically, I think the majority of the time you're gonna be using this particular, particular functionality is you're filming a scene and you have multiple cameras set up recording the same thing, although I'm sure there are other uses. Um, but let's say these were all just different angles of the same shot and you wanna be able to cut between one and another. So you can be like, okay, I'm gonna scrub through this line. Okay, and at this point, let's see, I wanna see, uh, do I wanna to cut to this? You can you know, turn off this track or this track and then see, okay, yeah, I wanna to cut to that one. And then I can cut here and cut here and you know, and then move stuff around and move this, you know, you know, up here like this. And no, that, that just, no, I'm gonna undo all that. We're not gonna do that. That's not how you do it. <laughs> we'll turn these tracks back on. What you have is, if you make sure you're in the project monitor up here, not the clip monitor, and you right click, there is a multi-track view. And it will show you four tracks at once. You notice nothing changed up here. It doesn't change until you, you scrub through here or press play. Once I move my cursor here, now you can see all four tracks at the same time. And it's very easy to scrub through here and see, oh, okay, I wanna be, I wanna video on the, the third track. Let's you know move that one into our main track so we're viewing that. Um, but you will notice if I, you know, come here and I press play, it plays a little jerky, okay? Well, I'm trying to play four copies, four different 1080p high definition video clips right off my Canon camera in MOV high quality format. And it, yeah, it's stressing out my computer a little bit. Maybe it won't on your computer, but I'm thinking it probably will. Um, so you're probably gonna wanna use proxy clips for this, which I went over in one of the very first videos in this series, which I've already generated them for this project. So I can just right click these and say proxy clip. And now they're there. And now I can press play and you can see they're playing smoothly. And then of course I switch back to the full resolution ones when I'm rendering. So yeah, so now I can come through here and be like, oh yeah, I wanna cut to, to this track at this point. And, and then uh, I can cut out this here and, oh, and you know, and of course you're looking at it, so I removed that video from, from the timeline there. Of course you could probably always add another track and move your main clips up there. Just however you want to do your workflow. But of course when you're done, you, you go like this. And now when I play them, it goes from this clip. And then it's gonna to cut to this clip. So the multi-track view is very useful. Again, I think the majority of the time, I don't use this feature much because I don't use multiple angles of the same shot very often, um, but I'm sure there's other uses for it. But if you're filming an actual scene, a lot of times you're gonna have more than one camera recording something. And it's very nice to be able to use this multi-track view to syn you know, synchronize them all and then just play through them and easily see which shot you wanna cut to without having to, again, turn off each track if we were in regular view you know, turn off each track until you see the one you want and then go cut it. Yeah, that, that'd, be, that'd be kind of messy. So uh, I hope you find this uh, feature useful. Again, that's make sure you're on the project monitor, not the clip monitor, because the clip monitor is just one video. The project monitor is this over here. As far as I can tell, it will only do four tracks and it's gonna be your bottom four video tracks. Because earlier I tried adding another video track and I didn't see it and I don't see any option to switch one it is. So really, um, you probably want to have five, the way I would do it is have five tracks set up and have my four clips, you know, four angles on the bottom four and then cut and move them to the fifth track and to have my main track. Although again, it's all depends on how your workflow goes. But again, multi-track view right there. And again, you don't see anything happen right when you click on it. You just need to move your, your timeline cursor. And that is it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, think about supporting me over on Patreon.com. That's Patreon.com forward slash Melex1000. There's a link to that in the description. Uh, and even a dollar a month is very, I'm very thankful for that. Um, if you want to give a one-time donation, go to my website. There should be a PayPal link under support. Um, and uh, if you can't support financially, think about supporting by liking, sharing, subscribing. That helps out a lot because it gets me more views and I do make a, a little bit of income from ads. Uh, so I appreciate that. The more views I get, the more money I make that way. It just 
helps me set aside time to make videos like this. And so that's the end of my, my self-promotion. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day. Check out all the links in the description, including one to the full playlist.